everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a fall makeup routine and this is just an easy foundation and bronzer routine with a little bit of a winged eyeliner and neutral eyes. It's how I've been wearing my makeup a lot ever since summer ended and I've really been loving it. And in some of my videos, you guys have requested a tutorial, so I decided to compile some different products together, show you how to create this look with more high-end products and lower-end products. So stay tuned and I'll show you how you can get this look for fall. First, I'm going to start by concealing my under eye circles and any other blemishes. I'm just using a creamy concealer from Makeup Forever that I always use. And you can easily use any other sticky, creamy concealer that works for you and go ahead and cover up any other blemishes. I like doing this before I put my foundation on just so that it all blends a little bit better. Then I'm going to be stippling on this creamy NARS foundation and I also found a pretty good dupe for this. It's the Clean and Clear Clean Whipped Cream and I just really love this foundation. It doesn't make me oily and it gives me really good coverage and I've just been absolutely loving this for the past month. Now I'm going to be using just the Bare Minerals regular setting foundation powder and you don't have to use this if you're going to be doing a lot of contouring like me, but I just wanted to show you guys how it just really sets your foundation and makes it last all day long. Next, I'm going to be contouring, and you might be like, wow, Lauren, what are you doing with your face? And I'm just using a darker bronze color to start the contouring process, and a good dupe for the Bobbi Brown one that I like is the NYX one. They're both super, super great, and I just tried to... Do a little bit different with the Bobbi Brown, but realized the NYX was just as good. And I'm going to go in and blend where I think I should be contouring and blend down my neck. It's just a ton, a ton, a ton of blending. But sometimes if I haven't been in the sun in a while, I do have to go back in with a medium toned bronzer and just kind of blend even more and touch up. I like the NARS Laguna and I also have been absolutely loving the CoverGirl bronzer that I just had to use for something else and I've actually really been liking it. So if I didn't go in with that Bare Minerals first, I would definitely go back in with the Laguna to set it. So you can switch off depending on if you like being extra bronzy or not. Then for blush, I switch off between this MAC blush in Trace Gold if I just want to keep it really bronzy and really glowy. But if I don't, I'll go in with Coralista by Benefit for a little more peachy corally. And I found a good dupe for both of these combined is the CoverGirl. It has the bronzy and the peachy in it, so I've really been liking that as well. Then I'm going to prime my eyes with a paint pot from MAC that they don't sell anymore, but any neutral color will work. And for a lid color, I'm going to be using Naked from the Naked Palette, just as a matte lid. And then I'm going to go back in with this new Lorac Pro Palette. And this is seriously the most pigmented highlighter I've ever used. Like, look at that. Like, holy moly. So I'm just going to go in and then highlight under my brows and in my inner corner. And yes, I am growing out my brows. I'm just playing around with it, so that's why they're kind of funky. But bear with me through this hard time in my life. And then I'm going to go in for the crease with just Buck from the Naked Palette and a little bit on the outer corner. You can also use a little bit of the glittery color if you don't want to use just matte, but I find that this blends everything together very, very nicely. It keeps it neutral and very autumn inspired. Then I'm going to line my waterline with the Rimmel London Scandalize in Nude. I've been liking Nude on my inner rim more than White just because it still gives your eyes that really bright eyed pop but it's not too overwhelming. And then I'm going to give myself a winged liner and I seriously struggled so much with this trying to get it in the camera like lens so I actually had to just do it in a mirror and kind of pretend. But it's really easy to do it with the Kat Von D liner and you just have to keep going and going until the line is thick enough for you. And I've absolutely been loving this mascara. It's Dior Show Iconic and a good dupe for this is Falsies by Maybelline. I just ran out of it so I couldn't picture it. And I've been loving nude lips, so I'm using this Lancome Nude Lip with the Corez Lip Balm over it just to keep everything simple and fresh. And this is the finished look. video and let me know if you did by giving it a big thumbs up so I know to do more makeup tutorials like this and if you have any other requests always leave them in the comments below I'll see you guys next week bye bye